Goodwill Industries stepped in, vowing to help Amanda find work and get through hurdles many ex-cons face. I mean, they've won everything from fixing the vehicle for me, got me bus passes, um, emergency assistance. You know, when I literally had to stay on the street. The nonprofit just received nearly $1 million in grant money from the Department of Justice for the Stay the Course program. The money is part of Senator Rob Portman's Second Chance Act, aimed at getting people who are incarcerated back into the workforce. The goal is to offer job training and mental health treatment. Ultimately, Senator Portman wants the government to fund Pell Grants for skilled trade so people behind bars can get a job quickly. These jobs are out there right now. And there's so many people, young people and people like her, she's, you know, kind of mid-career, mm -hmm. who if they had the ability to get that training and could get the Pell Grant for that, it, they could get a job right away. As for Amanda, she's a work in progress and credits her success from staying away from the streets to her caseworker at Goodwill. I, I just want my, my life back. I want a, ho a house, a job, a vehicle. Just have a, I want a normal citizen life. With the new grant money, Goodwill is hoping to help nearly 200 people get out of jail or as they get out of jail or prison find work. As for the Jobs Act, Senator Portman says that legislation is up for discussion with Congress, and those talks could begin again sometime later this week. Reporting live, Christina Williams, 13 ABC Action.